Hi everyone, so in this video, I will be covering about Colt Steel's Udemy Web Development course. Okay, so we will discuss about all the things about, uh, about the course and I will be dis uh, discussing all the aspects that uh, how should you learn from this course, how you can learn web development, if you need some additional resources or not. So I will be discussing about all the things in this video. Okay, so let I start. So first thing which you need to understand that why are you purchasing this course? There must be a specific reason. Okay, so I must say there should be a total three reasons. First one is that you want to make some projects in web development that you want to include in your resume. Second reason can be that uh, you want to learn web development and you want to join a company as a web developer. And third point is you want to do a freelance job. Okay, so this could be three situations where you want to buy this course. Okay, so I will be discussing about all the three situations alongside this course. Okay, so first I will discuss about this course. So this course will include total three sections, I would say. So first one is the front end part, second one is the JavaScript part, and third one is the back end part. Okay, so now I will go through each one by one. If I start with front end, so front end is started with basics of HTML, CSS and bootstrap. If I talk about this, this is a very basic thing of web development where you will be designing a static kind of web page and this is covered decently in this course. So uh, until now, everything is fine with this course. The front end portion is good. Moving ahead, there is a JavaScript section. Okay. So as I told you, there must be three situations which I explained to you earlier. So if I talk about JavaScript section, if you just want to do some projects in web development, which you want to include in your resume, then this section is more than sufficient for you. This section is really good for you. If you want to do a job in a company as a web developer, then there must be two situation. A company which is a startup based kind of company, a company which is a product based of company, a company which is a service based kind of company. So if a company is service based, then this course is enough for you. If the company is startup based, then they will be asking you some basics of JavaScript. Additionally, you must have to uh, learn data structures and algorithms in uh, JavaScript, basic concept at least. And additionally, uh, you should have some advanced JavaScript knowledge as well. If I talk about product based company, then you must be comfortable in data structures and algorithm at advanced level in JavaScript. Okay. If you want to join a product based company as a UI designer or UX designer or specifically JavaScript developer. Okay. Then there should be something which you need to uh, study in JavaScript in more detail like data structures and algorithm advanced JavaScript part. So um, th then you have to follow some other resource as well. Okay. Now going forward with uh, this, if I um, go forward with this, then there is a section of backend which covers Node.js, MongoDB, Mongoose, REST APIs and everything about backend. This portion is really good in called Steel scores. If you want to develop projects, then one thing which you should keep in your mind that if you are learning from this course, suppose this course, uh, uh, suppose this course teach you some two or three projects then one thing is sure you have to do some additional two to three more projects which are using this concepts additionally three four more advanced concepts which you will be reading from documentation and other things because this is really important part in web development you can never learn whole backend backend is a very wide range that means you can understand the basic thing but you should be very good at reading documentations because in the backend part most of the times you will be learning things by googling it by docu by going through the documentations so big thing is when you are learning backend do not more focus about the syntaxes and the things from this course but i will be uh, i will say to you that uh, i must say to you that focus more on how things are working how to Google things, how can I rectify the errors? Your focus should be on that focus, okay? Uh, on that on that thing, that how can I basically do a thing if that thing is not covered in this course, 
this should be your main goal okay so if i talk about particularly this course the back end part is really good so uh, if i talk about the basics basics node express mongodb everything is covered very good but one thing which you need to understand you should have uh, I, I would give, uh, I would suggest you to go through MongoDB in more detail. Give at least four to five days on your own. Write some queries, how it is working. So you should be comfortable with the databases because database is a good part and MongoDB uh, will be helping you in your future jobs also. Okay, so I would suggest you go some uh, uh, go some part of the MongoDB in more detail about Googling, uh, do some Googling, do some research work on or on your own and you can go through that. Other thing is, uh, if I uh, talk about uh, uh, Node.js and Express.js, do one to three more projects on EJS, uh, which is covered in this course. EJS is a good concept and uh, and uh, it will be helping out you if you want to do some good projects. So I would suggest you to go through EJS uh, on your own also. And um, lastly, the thing is, in this course, uh, called Steel Covered Up Project Yield Camp. Okay. So what you need to do is go through the flow with the Yield Camp uh, uh, project. And other thing is, you have to create, I would suggest, at least two projects to understand whole thing. I would suggest to give at least 15 to 20 days into two projects, divide 10, 10 days for both. First, create a thought process, create a flow diagram, how everything should be working, and then create the front end part, then go through the back end part, do some testing that how your project is uh, going to work, then deploy it. Okay, this should be the whole process if you want to learn web development. And if I talk about this course, then back end part is sufficiently covered. But one thing which I would say, you have to learn React after this course. And this is a must. This is a must. Why I am saying this is a must? In present time, if I would say, if you are learning Mern stack and if you are missing R, means React.js, then you will be missing around 20 to 30% job skills because React is very common now, uh, now these days. And I think if you are learning so much, then you can give React uh, some time also. Okay. And fr many free playlists are uh, there to learn React. You can go through free code camp channel. So I would suggest two, three things which you can learn outside from this course. First one is React. Second thing is if you are targeting product based company or startup based companies, then I would suggest to go with some advanced JavaScript as well. And for basic JavaScript, if you want to learn everything in the detail, you can follow Namaste JavaScript course or any any course I would suggest to go for JavaScript if you just want to uh, j uh, learn JavaScript separately because of a product based company, then I would say uh, go some external resources as well. Other than that, if you want to uh, just want to include in your resume some projects, then this course is perfect for you. For companies, as I already suggested you, you have to do some external things about JavaScript and data structure and algorithm is a very separate thing which you need to learn in JavaScript basically to get a particularly this UI kind of job role. Okay, like if I talk about Sprinkler, if I talk about Microsoft or Flipkart, they generally ask related to data structures and algorithms related to questions in JavaScript, basically in UI interview, web developer interview, if you are going, okay. So you have to learn that things externally, okay. And other third pass is you have to do some two, three good projects on your own. Never, never include the big project from this boot camp in your resume. Like if you are including yield camp in your resume, I think everyone knows about this called steel course. They will be quickly figuring out that you just copy paste the project. So at least make one to two good projects from this course, which you will be learning. And if you want to go for a freelance work, then I would suggest you for freelancing, at least make five projects from scratch to a advanced level. Like you can figure out a problem statement and from scratch to end like a complete product you can develop a project this kind of project you need to develop at least four to five 
because why i am you suggesting that if you are going for a freelance job then if your initial impression is not good then you will be in the trouble in your future time okay so if you are jumping into the freelancing work then do not just rush the things give some time on your own then start with the freelancing otherwise if i talk about this course this course is really good in all the three fields you can buy this course the price is very very minimal so of course you can go with the course but as i give you some suggestions you can work upon these suggestions as well so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys like this video and if you want some more videos like javascript resources and all then i can also create that as well thank you so much for watching